Hey everyone, this is Manjit Rukra here. I'm uh, taking this time here, I'm just heading over to a meeting, but before I did that, uh, before I do that, I wanted to shoot this quick video and uh, just kind of explain uh, the difference that I always get asked uh, amongst my friends, you know, when, when we're investing, when I'm raising money with different partners, you know, what is the difference between a joint venture partner and a lender you know and i've worked with both you know they've supplied uh, a lot of our capital for the deals that we've bought and especially in my early years when i started renovating i started flipping properties you know a lot of the a lot of the things that i understood was it's easier to raise money when you're you're offering an investor a piece of the pie and what i was doing in the beginning is i was actually offering 50 percent of that pie so one of the pros was i didn't have to put in any of my own money i didn't have to service the debt uh pay the investor an interest every month you know on the flip side you know we were sharing all the profits so if it made 40 grand i was split down the middle the investor gets his money uh, his principal back first always and uh, we kept the difference so the 50 50 now somebody might say like that's outrageous why would i give an investor 50 percent of the profit up and you know what you got to ask yourself what sort of skills do you have? And now at that time, that was about seven, eight years ago when I was just getting in the business. Um, and I didn't really have somebody showing me that, hey, you know what, there's a lot of people out there that really don't even care about getting the 50%. If you present your opportunity in a way that they can actually get into the deal and they can just lend you the money, they don't have to own the deal. They, they just wanna make it eight, 10, 12% per annum, maybe a point or two, whatever you negotiate. And there was a lot of people out there, so, I really wish somebody had told me that in the beginning and we gave up a lot of our profits. And I mean, looking back at it, I have no regrets because it's what I knew at that time. And also I wouldn't have gotten all these deals done and that beginning stage and got all of that experience if I hadn't given up something to my investors. And really the, the biggest skill that I learned is actually approaching investors, you know, shopping for deals and the whole thing, everything came together because I had the capital to buy it. Now, obviously as time went on, I got more experience, I got more deals and I was always prospecting. And, and one thing I always encourage people to do, real estate investors is, just because you have half a million or a hundred thousand dollars committed from an investor doesn't mean to doesn't mean you need to like hold back you need to continue to prospect right always be prospecting always be building uh your your list of leads investors because you never know some people change their minds some people you know they they need the money things happen and you don't want to just rely on one or two people to supply your deals so as i was saying as time went on i got more experienced I cut back, I went, I started approaching my investors and I started really presenting differently and basically going to investors and telling them, hey, you know what, I got this deal, we're gonna buy it for $100,000, uh, we're gonna put 50,000 into it, you know, I'm looking at borrowing 150,000. If you are dissatisfied with your current investments, maybe they're in a GIC, maybe they're in some mutual funds, they're underperforming, they're in an IRA, they're in an RRSP, uh, equity in your home, you name it. If it's getting a subpar return, two, three, four percent, well, what if I was able to offer you an eight percent return? And Mr. Investor, I'm gonna give you security in that deal. I'm gonna actually put you on title on the mortgage, just like most people do when they go buy a house. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna pay you an 8% return per annum. And uh, when that property sells, you're gonna get all your capital back. Plus I can pay you throughout the months that I borrow the money, or I can pay you at the end in a balloon payment. Now, when I started approaching people with that script, something similar, and, I'm, and uh, be on the watch out, I am actually gonna make a video that I talk about the scripts and the step-by-step -step system that I use to actually close investors. Now, when I started doing that, you know, it opened up a whole world, a different world uh, to me that of people out there, that people that were unhappy with their financial advisor or wherever their money was at the bank. And I was able to provide them uh, investment opportunity, not just locally in my market, which is a huge benefit when you're presenting to people, but I was able to give them more security than they would ever have in the marketplace, more than a paper asset. And I, it was backed by real estate. You know, when people saw that and I presented it that way, it wasn't long till I raised my, you know, first million dollars of capital 
And, and a lot of that was just raised in my network, just referrals from people that I had already used when I was paying 50% of my equity up. Now, that was a hard thing to go back to my investors who were used to getting 50% of the deal and now saying, hey, you know what? Um, our, our business has changed a little bit. Our lending, uh, we're actually not giving 50%, 50-50 splits anymore. We're not doing joint ventures. We're actually looking for lenders. That was a little bit challenging, but obviously some of them did switch over because Again, if they don't have another opportunity, you as a professional real estate investor are providing tons of value to bring them uh, bring them an opportunity otherwise they wouldn't they wouldn't have had. You know, so those are some things that to really uh, really grasp and study. And if you're a starting off real estate investor or you're a current investor, I challenge you guys to go back to your list and if you've been paying 50% of your capital or sorry 50% of your profits up and doing a 50-50 split, you know, I really uh, recommend to convert that into uh, a loan. Convert that into a short-term loan or if you're buying a, a longer term buy and hold, you know, there's a ways around that also. Uh, but I, I ask you because you're gonna keep a lot of more of that profit that you're working so hard for and the investor still wins because they're getting an eight to 10% return on average, which otherwise they wouldn't have had. So again, guys, this is Manjeet Rukra. I'm gonna be shooting a few more, so stay tuned for my step-by-step -step system that I use to help me raise the $5 million of capital that we have uh, year to date since inception. We'll see you guys soon.